Hey, good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, August 29th. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing track of the days because I've been kind of bed resting myself um, for the last couple days. But as you guys are aware, I'm um, tracking my journey with the um, reshaped gastric balloon. I had the procedure done on Thursday, the 25th. Of August so it's been about three days since the procedure was done um, I'm doing okay so just a little bit about the procedure and how it went um, I came in at about seven and answered a few questions filled out a couple paper um, pieces of paper and then met with the anesthesiologist I was given an IV um, just because you know I think that's standard since you're coming off of a soft and then a liquid diet. You want to make sure you're at least hydrated when you leave. Um, so I was given an IV and some sedation. And that's pretty much how much I remember of that process. Um, when I woke up, I'm really not sure. I can, I can only go by what I've seen online. So I'm assuming the whole procedure took less than 5 to 15 minutes. But um, I was, I woke up, I felt good. I was just more concerned than anything, whether it had been done or not. Um, so they confirmed that it, it was done, it went well, um, all of that good stuff. And I proceeded to go home. So I would say I got home at like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, so the procedure itself was pretty uneventful. Um, as I said before, my main concern was the nausea and the vomiting, which I absolutely despise. Um, so that first couple days, as I took my different meds around the clock, um, that first couple days, I just was focusing on resting as much as possible to avoid um, the vomiting and nausea that I heard so much about. So what I did notice, and you know, as I said before, I don't easily, I'm not easily nauseated, so. I was able to keep from having any episodes. There were a couple times where it was right there and I actually tried, but um, even, you know, here, and here's a tip for others. Like when I just hovered forward, um, when I was actually hovering over the toilet, but I would do it other times over the tub or the sink. Um, and I just hovered forward and that um, nauseous feeling would go away. So um, let's see, since then I've pretty much bed rested myself um I've been transitioning I, I did probably about two and a half days of clear liquid so I had chicken broth I had some jello that I wasn't really a fan of I had a couple popsicles and Gatorade um which my favorite now since I never drank Gatorade is the green apple kind um, but you know, the focus, as they said, on those first couple of days to stay hydrated, which is what I was focusing on. Um, I slowly transitioned yesterday to soft foods, but I still ended up doing primarily liquid. And I think I had some cottage cheese and peaches and half of a protein shake. So that was the extent of solid slash you know, thicker substance, liquid substance that I had on yesterday. Um, as far as movement, I've been able to move around. I, I do feel the balloons. So um, right now I don't, but I have been feeling, you know, the balloons and feeling um, just like a foreign object in my body. So I'm sure that's normal because that's actually what's going on. Um, let's see. So that feeling made almost for, for females out there that have children, it, it kind of feels like, it feels like pregnancy to me. It feels, you know, like I'm seven, eight months pregnant when they start moving around and, you know, you've really noticed them um, in your body. Um, so that's kind of how I would describe the feeling. Um, as far as activity levels, I think the so Thursday, Friday. So Friday, I went outside and walked for about 10 minutes. And then Saturday, I went outside and walked for about 30 minutes. 
um, as recommended to really just start getting walking in. Um, so that went pretty well. I mean, there were times where, you know, I would feel that not so that cramping, I guess that's the cramping feeling that they were describing. So I would kind of feel that. Um, I do have a follow-up appointment tomorrow to, you know, just speak with my doctors and, you know, get some feedback. I know one of my major, um, concerns, which is not hindering me at this point, but, you know, I'm, I'm concerned about, you know, getting constipated because I'm not really getting any food and, um, nothing's really fleshing out. And also with dehydration, um, uh, which you can probably hear in my voice, but, um, I'm trying to get the liquids in, but, you know, after some sips, which I am sipping as recommended, but I still feel that, um, I start feeling that cramping. So it's kind of like keeping me, I know not to take gulps, but that cramping feeling comes even when I'm taking sips. So I find it kind of hard to try to get in the liquid, especially you know, they tell you not to eat and drink at the same time. So, um, it's, it's one of my dilemmas that I'm struggling with now. And I'll be looking to get some feedback on when I go to the doctors. Um, the other thing as far as appetite, I have nothing. I haven't I have any cravings. Um, I really don't have an appetite at all. Um, but I know I have to eat something, you know, to prevent my body from going in starvation mode. So, you know, I have been drinking as much as I can. That, Like I said, that Gatorade had become my best friend. But um, as far as things of substance, I still haven't gotten any in. Um, but I will try some eggs today. Um, but I really don't have a taste for anything. So I really don't have an appetite. Um, so we will see how that goes. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I'm in this for the long haul. Um, to date, I've lost about three pounds. So... My starting weight was 219, and right now I'm at 216 even. Let's see what else is going on with me. Um, you know, like I said, the dehydration is concerning me. Um, I'll be walking again today. I may try to at least do some arm um, workouts or something. I'm, I'm just debating because I don't want to distort my weight loss, at least in this first couple weeks. Um with building muscles so I'll probably just do a little toning but trying to avoid doing too much um lifting um so that's that's about all I can think of let me see um yeah I mean other than that I, I feel good I feel you know just you know my concern it feels like a foreign object in my body um and I've read that you know people get past that feeling i don't know if it ever goes away so much as they're getting used to it um but for me it just you know makes me feel like my stomach is swollen um i do when i go in tomorrow i'm, I'm gonna try to have an ultrasound done just because you know i've been reading about hiatal hernia i think when you're sitting around with nothing to do you just kind of research everything so i've been reading about um a hiatal hernia and i just want to make sure that's not what I'm feeling when I feel that tightness um, at the top of my chest. Other than that, I'm, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. That's me. I mean, I do have, I understand that it takes 21 days to establish a habit. So I'm hoping that I'll just get to that place and stop wrestling with, you know, all these different thoughts and just really focus on my end goal and restarting the calendar and just crossing out, crossing everything out, the crossing the days out. Um, so I can count down instead of, you know, stressing. Um, I think that's probably why they give you the extra anxiety meds, you know, for these thoughts. Um, so I might take one of those today, but other than that, I mean, I feel pretty good. I don't feel any, um, I mean, I expected to feel something. So outside of what I described, you know, I'm just grateful that I didn't have, have to succumb to the nausea and vomiting. And then, um, just just trying to get myself a little more mobile than I have been. Um, so just working that mental piece. And, you know, like I said, I'm not hungry, um, but it's more of a feeling of you should probably eat something that forces me to at least try to eat something. So then I have a couple 
bites or swigs and then I feel like that's enough um, so I did that I also had Greek yogurt so that was one of the things I ate like half of the yogurt cup um, so that's that's kind of the general place that I'm in just eating because I feel like I need to not because I'm hungry um, which is an okay thing but your body will go into starvation mode so um, just trying to monitor that closely and really focus on my hydration today so that's all I have. Um, I'll continue to post videos and provide the feedback that I receive. As always, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box and I'll reply to them as soon as I get them. And thanks for watching.